It was a first of its kind procedure in the U.S. performed at Duke University Hospital. Now, about a month later, Matthew Moore, the recipient of an uh, artificial heart, recently hit another big milestone. This is the heart Matthew Moore received in July at Duke University Hospital, a new generation artificial heart. Groundbreaking because it can pump blood into both chambers of the heart instead of just one like a traditional implant. In other words, a second shot at life. A month later. Um, I feel wonderful, actually. Uh, I, the device is working exceptionally well. Um, I, I feel good. Rachel, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing really well, um, considering. Um, it's just a lot of back and forth trying to make sure He's taken care of, make sure that um, our son's taken care of. In June, Matthew was referred to Duke with heart failure. His condition so bad a traditional heart transplant became too dangerous. I caught up with Matthew and his wife Rachel recently. The couple admitted life has been a balancing act. As Matthew rehabs and Rachel goes back and forth between the hospital and home in Brunswick County, more than two hours away. Rehab um, sometimes can be crazy. Uh, I, I've lost a lot of strength in my legs, um, so I'm having to redevelop that, learn how to walk again. This past week, Matthew celebrated his 40th birthday with balloons, cake, his wife, and one of his biggest inspirations, their son Marshall. It motivates me. That has been my main motivation, is to see Marshall and get back with him. Um, he is my world. While the Moore family is optimistic about the future, Rachel, who's a nurse, has this message. For, for everyone to go to the doctor, don't be afraid of it, and, you know, take, you know, take responsibility for your health. And Matthew says the goal is to be able to go home in a couple of weeks. His doctors say that means being able to walk a mile.